I'm a contented woman and I don't need a partner. I have my bridesmaid Madge. And she assists me as best she can. She actually is a hindrance more than a help. But I, I've helped her. I mean, I would get the Nobel Prize. I'd be Baroness Everidge if they knew what I've done for that minx. <laughs> my bridesmaid and I... Have you got your script? Have you got your script? <laughs> Don't snap at me, Madge. When I had the shingles, she had them as well. When I run a temperature, she's hot. <laughs> I thought, who can play Madge now that Madden is dead? So we auditioned. And I saw an endless stream of camp ladies all very nice, all rolling their eyes and being, well, camp and funny. And none of them were any good except for Emily Perry. Jermaine, my bridesmaid was a pioneer of New Zealand feminism. She was. <laughs> That's why it never took off. <laughs> you know, she didn't burn her brow, the neighbours did. <laughs> Miss Victor, will you try and look pensive? So I thought, well, I don't know exactly what he wants. Anyway took some photos and then he said oh will you come and stand beside me please oh he said you're a little one aren't you so I thought oh perhaps he wants somebody small so I jumped out of my shoes I said well I'm I'm shorter still without my shoes on <laughs> anyway that was that and in the evening my agent rang me up and she said uh, you've got the job oh I said what do I do she said I haven't a clue and I still don't know <laughs> What I instantly recognised was that she was intelligent and that she had the God-given ability to do nothing. To do nothing. <laughs> Madge comes from New Zealand. Madge is a celebrity in New Zealand, which gives you a rough idea what the rest of the people over there are. <laughs> She's terribly rude to the people. Yeah. Was, was they love it, they love it, they love it. They really do. It's just, you know, the lady sitting there in the red dress. You look a bit like a letterbox, isn't <laughs> it? 